Number 50, when 1.6 times 10 to the 5 joules of heat transfer occurs into a meat pie initially at 20 degrees Celsius, its entropy increases by 480 joules per Kelvin. What is its final temperature? All right, so this problem basically, uh, you know, piggybacks off the prior two, so check them out for further clarification. I'm going to be using this formula down here on the bottom right. It says that the change in entropy, all right, of an object uh, or a particular system is going to be equal to now, it doesn't have the delta here, but I want you to think of it as if there is a delta here, is equal to the change and then heat energy either gained or lost, depending upon the nature of the problem, right, of the object, divided then by the average temperature, okay? Now, in this particular case, we're talking about what's the final temperature, what's its final temperature, what is its, what's the meat pie, right? So if I want to find the final temperature of the meat pie, all right, that means I need to know the change in entropy of the meat pie. I need to know the change in heat energy gained or lost by the meat pie. And then I need to find the average temperature of the meat pie. All right, that was my best Italian impression. It doesn't get any better than that. So um, let's now start plugging in possibly some of the values or let's start expanding maybe on what, what, do, we, what do we mean by average temperature. So Let's expand on that first. So the entropy change of the meat pie is gonna be equal to the change in heat energy gained or lost by the meat pie. We know that this is increasing in energy, right? Uh, it's initially at 20 degrees and it's saying this amount of heat transfer is into the meat pie. So we know this will be a positive value, okay? Oops. All right, I don't know how that turned into a parabola, but. And now the average temperature. So how do you create a formula for average temperature of the meat pie? Well, you simply say, well, whatever temperature it might have began at, we'll call that T1, plus then the temperature it might have ended at, we'll call that T2. Actually, instead of one and two, let's just call it initial and final, okay? And then you'd say, well, how do I find the average of two values? Well, you simply remember, just divide it by the number of values you have, which in this case we have two, assuming that it's equally weighted, which in this case we should assume, and there's no reason to assume that that's not the case. Um, all right. So now, what are we after? We are after finding the final temperature. So we can now do a little math, right, to find that final temperature. So the first thing is, uh, what we'll do is I'm just going to simply do our little exchange here. Denominator on the right goes to the numerator on the left. Numerator on the left then goes to the denominator on the right. So great. Now I got two fractions, okay? Um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to solve for TF, so I want to get rid of this, right? So I'm going to move that from the denominator on the left to the numerator on the right. Great. Maybe I'll put a little bracket around it. And then what I want to do is I want to now solve, remember, for TF, so I have to subtract this value, right, from the left. And when I do that, I have to subtract it then from the right, and look at that, right? There's the math, and there's the formula, and now all we need to do is now plug it in. So the final temperature of this meat pie should be equal to the change in energy, or two, I'll bring the two on in front. So the two now multiplied by the change in heat gained uh, by that heat pi, and they told us that was 1.6 times 10 to the fifth joules, then divide it now by the change in entropy, and they told us it was 480 joules per Kelvin, so just write 480 on the bottom, all right, and then minus the initial temperature. Now the initial, the, the temperatures are gonna be in Kelvin, you gotta remember that. So the initial temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, but you're gonna add to that 273, okay? And let's now calculate. So we get the final temperature, okay, is gonna be equal to, so it's two multiplied by 1.6 times 10 to the fifth, divided by 480, and then subtract from that now 20 uh, plus the 273. So the final Kelvin temperature, you gotta remember it's gonna spit out in Kelvin, it's 373, right? Or 374, roughly, right? ish 370 I don't, I don't know why i wrote a seven so that's in terms of kelvin if you need that in celsius minus the 273 from that and you realize it's about right what's about 101 all right so about 100 degrees uh uh what do you call it celsius okay guys thank you very much for tuning in please remember to help us out and subscribe if we were able to help you out in any way that'd be awesome we'd appreciate it very much and uh it's very motivating also so um yeah, cool. Thanks, guys. Take care.